everybody hope you're well the drone footage you've just seen is uh, from the camper van is not just from where we are in the camper van but it's actually where we live that uh, video footage there from the drone is just literally down the road from where we live so we live in a real remote area of the North Yorkshire Moors literally in the middle of nowhere and this video is all about about these units this is the Bluetti AC200 Max and this is the B230 link battery for it. Um, you can have two of these linked to this. Well, I've only got one of these, but you can have two of these linked to this. So this unit here is self-contained. And within this unit, there is a massive battery. It's 2,048 watt hours of power. It's got a full sound wave um, inverter so it converts the battery power from this to mains power from these three pin sockets and that's done in a way that makes these very safe for computer equipment laptops computers and tvs has various usbs at various powers two here at 18 watts two here at three amp there's um, a usb c 100 watts and um, it's got two um DC outputs there at 10 amp. These are the barrel connect ones, mainly for LED lights. The good old traditional cigarette socket. And this one here is an interesting one. This, you can take 12 volts from this up to 30 amps. And that's direct current DC. And this can be linked from this socket here to an actual fuse box which can link into your camper van so you can run your camper van 12 volts from a connection here up to 30 amps and then separate to this these are linked with this big cable these clear cable just plugs into the side and to the front of this this b230 is a separate unit in itself but it's also a backup battery for this so in in here it doesn't have an inverter um, it doesn't have the on the screen display, but it, what it does have the battery backup power to feed into this. So with this unit and this unit, you've got 400 watt hours of power. And this can be charged independently. So you can plug a um, mains power supply in there or you can plug solar into there as well. And then over here, you've got your USB C 100 watt, USB A 18 watt, and the good old cigarette socket. So this and this can be linked together to give you maximum power. And uh, this is a lot of power for my camper van. And people uh, looked at one of my other videos. I did a video recently looking at uh, petrol generators and I mentioned these. I'll put in the link in the top corner if you want to have a look at that. But these are like the top of the range lithium batteries. They're the best batteries you can get. The batteries in these have a recharging capacity so they can recharge about 3500 times um, from a very low voltage up to full voltage without impacting on the capacity of the batteries and even after that um, 3500 charging cycles you only lose um, down to about 80 percent of the power so these should last a good 15 20 years um, for whatever you use them for but this powers can power everything we need not just in our camper van so in our camper van we'll plug um, electric kettle um, sandwich maker a toaster anything we really want into these air dryers charge our e-bikes with these on the move anything we want we can power off these off the main side is what we use for this but we can also use the dc the low voltage side as well on the top of here there's two through charging units on there so you can charge your phone wirelessly or two phones at the same time wirelessly on the top of there but it's a big unit it's a big versatile unit but it's still portable with this linkage lead you can just use this you can take this somewhere and just use this and the power that's in this or you can actually just use this if you're just looking to run things off 12 volts you've got enough sockets and things on this and i do that quite often i can run my laptop on this i have a 12 volt charger for my laptop and that plugs into there and i can run it off this so you can use them independently you can charge them independently 
You can put up to 1400 watts of solar into this and you can multi-charge it. So you can put solar into this, um, the battery charger um, from the mains into this and you can also charge this independently as well. And if you get enough power into this, you can charge this fully in about two hours. But there's lots of reviews on the internet which go into all the technicalities of how ca the capacity and everything is in relation to these units. I'm more interested in this video, getting the message across how we utilise these, not just in our camper van, which they're fantastic for, we'll never run out of power with these, but also in the cottage and where we live remotely and how we use those to do many different things. They're very versatile to enable us to um, have power anywhere we want it and whenever we need it. There will be some discount codes for these from Blue Etty and there's also an offer as well. With these units, you can actually get a 12 volt enhancer charger. So this, when it's plugged into back of my van, you'll see in a minute how I have it plugged in. This cable here plugs into the back of the van, into the 12 volt uh, unit in back of the van. So in my van I have a full Victron setup and a EcoTree 320 watt lithium battery and I have 300 watts of solar on the roof. So I use that power as I'm driving along and the um, battery to battery charger to put power into this, to trickle charge this and it puts about 100 watts in as I'm driving along or when it's just sat there using the solar. So this is powered and charged before I go away. I can plug it into the mains or I can plug it into big solar at home. I can use a portable solar panel which I'll show you how best to use that. I find a great way to use portable solar panels is to put them on the awning. So this is the Blue Etty 350 watt portable solar panel. So if you think about tilting solar panels, if you pack your van in the right way and you have an awning on it and you lay it on your awning like this, you can alter the angle of your awning with the uprights to fasten to the van to get the optimum angle for your solar panels. And then just I just run the wires off this down there and into the back of the van. But I find that a really good way and it gets your solar panels out the way and it gives you the maximum power off them because you can angle it to the right angle to the sun. And I can also use this um, in the house from its mains connector. But all the discount codes and all the information and everything will be in the description below. And as I say, there is a, a discount code and there is a special offer in relation to the DC enhanced charger for these units, which basically takes the 12 volts from um, a, a normal battery and boosts that power to charge these quicker. Here we are. So the Blue Etty AC200 Max is sat here. And it's strapped in and it's strapped in so I can unstrap it quickly and take it to the house or the garage or even outside the camper van. And then the link lead is here, oh, which goes into this. And this battery unit and this battery unit is the same size battery, a 2000 watt hour battery, the same as what you get in this. So this turns this into over two 400 watt hours of battery power. This is also strapped in so it's easy to take out if I want to use it in the van or outside or even in the house. This is our car and it's a plug-in hybrid but 350 watts of solar and there's enough power within those babies to actually charge it. So we're living in the middle of nowhere, and this is literally about two miles from where we live. We live right over in that distance over there. This car will do about 30 miles on a full battery charge. But I can't have a full electric car because there's just not enough charging points for where we are. So if I wanted to, I could actually use the power from this which is charged by solar to actually charge my car and get 30 miles free power. Obviously I have to buy the gear, but if I own the gear, as I, as I say, this gear is not just for the camper van. This runs the cottage in power cuts. It's our backup supply. 
and it will also charge the car. And where we live, the majority of places we go locally are within a 30 mile round trip. But if you wanted to use petrol, because this does use petrol, you can plug it in or you, it's got a petrol engine as well. The, to fill this up, it's actually a 20 mile round trip. So if we leave our house and we want to fill it up and then come back somewhere where we live, it's a 20 mile round trip. So being able to plug this in to this unit, I technically, discarding the price of the actual units, I uh, get free travel. Mainly in the summer, I must add, because uh, we do live in North Yorkshire. And when you live in North Yorkshire, you don't get that much sun in a winter. We probably could do with a wind turbine. And if we've got a wind turbine, we could plug that into this and charge the unit up. But there's enough power in those two units there to charge this up and give me 30 miles. And of course, the unit has through charging. So as the solar's going in, 350 watts of solar can go in. It's actually putting power into this and then transposing that into the vehicle. And the more solar I have, this unit will take up to, I think it's 1,400 watts of solar just into the main AC 200 max. I can actually charge this unit separately as well. So I can put lots of solar. I could have solar on the roof of the house, on the cottage, and plug those units in and charge those off solar if they've got sun. Another way and another reason we like these big power packs. For living remotely, when you live places like this, it's a beautiful place, but there are limitations. And if you can just imagine, to get power to some of these remote, remote buildings where we live, it's all overhead cables. And if there's a strong weather, strong wind, snow, heavy rain even, these power cables do fail from time to time. And they're quite remote. So enabling engineers to get to them to fix them can take some time. And we get one, two, three, maybe four power cuts a year, depending on the weather. I know it's a bit funny, but it gives us that opportunity to use the sun to power these units to actually power the car. So these are so versatile. They are big units, but they're so versatile. And if you're going to invest in a unit like this, you need to think how many ways you can actually use it. Using it in the workshop. So remote workshop, no mains power. Take this with you. And it'll easily power drills, saws, chop saws, planes, grinderette, anything you'd normally use in your workshop. I can even run the electric grass cutter off it. How about a bit of remote welding? You gotta admit it's versatile. It's not the smallest pack to carry around, but it's doable. And I can weld anywhere with it. Anywhere I can get that and the welding plant, I can weld. We love our e-bikes. We've got three big e-bikes. There's Joe's, my hardtail, and a full suspension. <laughs> This one as well which we're going to do a test on very soon a review on that one but they all need power and this is at the end of the garden and to charge these we normally have to take the batteries out and mess about like that but having that power system we can just plug it straight into the power system and we can put a solar panel on the roof in the summer and charge it up from that so as you've seen, these are actually located in back of the camper van when I take them away with me. And there's lots of functions on here, but there's an app. So if we go into the Blue Etty app, you can get all these functions uh, through the app. So I don't actually need to be near to this unit to operate it. There's no subscription or anything you need to do this, so it's just a, a link that goes through it. And you can switch power systems on, you click on the button, very similar to the other one, and it'll show you what power you have from various units. So as well as the main unit, the battery pack one, is at 89%, and the battery pack two is at 88%. And as I say, you can have two of these linked to this. 
Um, so they do these, this is the 230B and they do a bigger version of this. So you can have two of the bigger versions linked to this or two of this size linked to this and it all operates through the app. You can have a, the 200 one and the bigger one, the 300 one linked together. So you have, these have to be the same sort of capacity to link to the unit. But they're all controllable through this app and it gives you all the information you need on there. So as this is sat in back of the camper van all strapped in, I can switch everything on and off and I can switch the units off and do whatever I want from the app remotely, which is really good. So you don't have to actually have them in your van or if they're in the house, they don't have to be next to you in the house. The way this works in our van is that there's a, a three pin plug that goes into here, runs back to this socket we have here and there's three three pin sockets on there and we can plug electric kettle, toaster, sandwich maker, electric hob into that unit there and just use them in the kitchen as we would normally. But also we can actually take this outside. So this can be taken outside and we can have an electric um, hob or oven or cooker whatever we want plugged into this and just use it remotely as well the way we use these in the cottage is that uh, we either just move it about to wherever we need it for in a short term power cut we'll maybe move it into the kitchen and may plug it into a electric cooker like this um, we use something like this through summer when it's really hot because we normally have an argo running in the in the kitchen that big hot thing over there but it's too hot in the summer so we'll use this and this does everything we need really for a summer but that unit will power this no problem whatsoever so if we went away in the camper van and we wanted to cook outside we could take this with us no problem whatsoever <laughs> Using this in the cottage the way we use it we haven't gone into our main wiring system and put a transfer switch on you could actually put a transfer switch on so you'd switch over to take your power from this or switch back to mains power we just simply without having these four sockets on we put it in the location where we've got the most items and then we'll actually run an extension cable to anywhere else we basically use this downstairs because most of the products we use all the time are downstairs and upstairs we'll use a torch or a, a battery powered light because that's all we need so it's not difficult to use in the cottage and as I say with that backup battery you just usually stick it underneath and get it to sit on top of it and that gives you that extra capacity. And if we had the second battery with it we'd probably put that on top and stack them high and that would give us over 6,000 um, watt hours of power which is more than enough that, to run our cottage easily. Well I hope you enjoyed that video and you found it useful and give you an insight in how we use these massive power packs in our camper van to do more than we actually need it to do. Endless amounts of power, but also around the cottage and living remotely where you get power cuts and everything we actually use these for. They're just endless opportunities to use these. So if you're buying one or you're thinking of getting one, do check in the description for all the information, all the links to the website, discount codes, the information about the DC battery booster pack and everything you need to know is in the description. So that's it for this video and we'll see you on the next one. Be interesting about that uh, new e-bike I've been sent to review because the plan for that one is to put a trailer on the back and take at least one whip it out on an e-bike with us. What could possibly go wrong? Thanks as always for watching. Take care. See you on the next one.